Here's the D2M team to give you five top tips on how to reduce your risk through product innovation. So a really great way of doing this is to produce a minimal viable product. It allows you to get a product to the market really quickly. You can gain feedback and any funds you've made and then you can feed that back into the developing the next generation of your product. It's really important to patent your design rather than design your patent. The important part is to create a design that solves your problem and is useful and not designed just with the focus of patenting it. You want it to be done right and be a good product and that should be your priority. And if it is patentable at that point, then that's great. But the number one priority should be creating a good product that can have success in the market. Sometimes clients come to us with a product that they want to design in the way that they want to design it but it's really important that you always design your product for your target market. So the best way to ensure that this happens is to do a market-led development process, whether it's through online surveys, focus groups, or interviews. Make sure that you're designing the product that your customer really wants. In order to minimise the amount of investment in the project, we'd always recommend conducting some early stage lash-up prototyping. And this really allows you to validate the, uh, the approach to the product um, without moving into some more costly prototyping techniques. The final tip on how to minimise your risk during the innovation process is to focus on the money. You really need to ensure that you don't run out of cash before you've either launched your product and you've got enough budget left for marketing and start to get some sales coming through so you're getting some return on your investment or you've got your product to a point where it's investable and you can bring in some outside funds to complete the product development and get your product to launch.